Good morning, everyone. So we'll continue our Tao Te Ching study. Today, we're studying chapter 14. So Tao Te Ching, chapter 14. 世之不见, 明曰夷, 听之不闻, 明曰夕, 博之不得, 明曰微, 此三者不可至节, 古混而为一, 其上不矫, 其下不昧, 神神不可明, 不归于无物, 是谓无状之状, 无物之相, 是谓呼谎, 迎之不见其手, 随之不见其后, 知古之道, 比喻今之有, 能知古史, 是谓道迹. Chapter 14. It's another beautiful chapter. Hi, Heather. Thank you for joining me. Good to see you again. I think you really enjoyed this chapter as well, chapter 14. So the fourth, the first sentence, 世之不见,明曰夷. 世 means look with our eyes, and 见 means see things. So here Lao Tzu said, look, but it cannot be seen. 不见, 不 means no, cannot be seen. 明曰夷. We call it Yi. Yi, the explanation in Chinese for the word Yi is Wu Se. It literally means no color. In Chinese, oftentimes the word Se has a more generalized meaning. It means everything that our eyes perceive is considered as a se. So here Lao Tzu is saying, it's something that we look, but we cannot see it. So it's, it's not something that our eyes can perceive. So the next part, 听之不闻,明曰夕. 听, listen but it cannot be heard. We call it xi. Xi means no sound. So it's not something that our ears can perceive. Next, 博之不得,明曰微. We reach out, but we cannot touch, we cannot grasp it. That's why we call it Wei. Wei means no shape. So Lao Tzu talked about no color, no sound, no shape. Hmm, what is this? What are these its? What are these its are? What these its are? Lao Tzu said, continue to say, 此三者, so these three, 不可至节, means are not something, are not some, something. Here is when the, our language is limited. It's, um, it's not a thing, but it's, um, are not what that we can perceive with our mind. Or you can also hear, ex, um, translate that it's something, it's not that that 
it is what's actually beyond our mind. Gu hun er wei yi. It means they they can be mixed as one. Or we can say that it is, so these three that Lao Tzu just talked about are actually different paths from and to the one. Let's uh, pause and, and think about it. Here, Lao Tzu talked about sight, shi, and hearing, ting, and bo, touch. Sounds familiar. Here, Lao Tzu mentioned about three of the five senses that humans have. And we can probably just as well add the other two senses, the smell and taste. We can also say, you know, you can you sniff, but you can't smell it. Or you can say, you know, you eat, but you cannot taste it. So even though when we talk about these five senses, we immediately think about are the different body parts that are connected with these five senses. We use our eyes to see, our nose to smell, you know, our mouth to taste, our ears to hear, and our skin to touch. However, but if we go like go one step farther or one step deeper, that what the the that that enables us to hear, to see, to taste, to touch, or you can say that um, that that perceives all of these five senses. Is that one or is that five different things? Gu hun er wei yi. Lao Tzu continued to, to explain just from different angle. Qi shang bu jiao. It means, jiao means bright. So above, it's not bright. Qi xia bu mei. Below, it's not dark. So it, this it is beyond the, beyond light and dark beyond the distinction of light and dark. Sheng sheng bu ke ming. Lao Tzu talking about here, this it is like an invisible rope. It's continuous, it's seamless. However, bu ke ming, it cannot be named. Does this Bu ke ming sounds a little familiar to you. Remember in Dao De Jing chapter one, the first two sentence is Dao ke dao, fei chang dao. The Dao that can be talked about is not the eternal Dao. And then ming ke ming, fei chang ming, the name that can be named is not the true or the eternal name. Here, Lao Tzu says, this it is sheng sheng, continuous, seamless, and cannot be named. Fu gui yu wu wu. It returns, gui returns to nothingness or returns to emptiness. This sounds more and more familiar, right? Shi wei wu zhuang zhi zhuang. This, uh, this section, this part means wu zhuang zhi zhuang. It's a it's a shapeless shape. 
无物之相 means it's an image of nothing, of no thing. It's a very interesting way. Lazi is a it's a shapeless shape, and an image of nothing. I love the descriptions Lazi use here. And Shi Wei, another one, it also means it is Hu Huang. Hu Huang. Uh, in modern Chinese, these two characters are you are switched. So Huang Hu. Now we use Huang Hu. It's uh, that's more common, more often used the, uh, this way. So I don't know why when it gets switched. Huang Hu is worth some explanation. Huang Hu, it's um, it means you are in this kind of a um, um, mental state or your your state that's um, it's um, it's kind of in between. It's you're not uh, totally not aware of something. However, you're not as aware as what you're. Like you're when you are conscious, um, fully, the word fully conscious may we we'll just use it. It may not be the best description. So in a way, it's in the stage that um, you're aware of, you know, you're you're awake. However, you don't distinguish what you perceive. So, so everybody can if you meditate the next time you meditate. You think about this. Think about this. This what kind of state is this Huang Hu state that Lao Zi is talking about? You know, a lot of people say, um, like Lao Zi, this uh, book of Dao Zhe Jing. It's um, hi Linda, nice to see you. It's a, it's a, a Dao is is a philosophy. Dao Zhe Jing is talk about this Dao is the philosophy. And it's as a lot of uh, there's a lot of abstract wisdom idea, which which is certainly true. However, if you really sink in, you will find that here and there, Laozi actually also provide us with some uh, very practical method. For example, here here, Huang Hu, it's um. It's one of the state we're trying to experience when we meditate. Is that we are not putting our our energy out, trying to always be aware, be clear of all the things that's happening around us. And we are also meditating is not sleep. We're not aware of what's happening. It's in this in between state. This state. Is called also called Ming Shen. Shen means it's our essence. It's a it's a broader tense sense than our mind or spirit. It's just the, the part of us that's not physical. And Ning means means things that um accumulate, condense. So instead of a, our Shen is out there, we're using up all of these essence energy. Meditation, this kind of state, is actually help us. Bring our energy, reserve our energy. Think about it. actually, you know, we're used to it, but this constantly, our mind are thinking, okay, this is a phone, okay, this is a teacup, and I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm constantly aware of what's happening. It actually costs a lot of energy. We don't feel it just because it's just something we're used to. It's like um, you know, you drive a car. You know that you can't let the car runs constantly all the time, and to have the car last longer, you know, you have to use it, runs it, and then you had to let it stop. You had to let it rest. And this meditation of get to the stage that you're aware, but you're not distinguish things, is actually a a very good way. To accumulate energy, to conserve energy, so we have more energy. That in, remember in one of the previous chapter, 
um, chapter was the eight or nine. We we talk about how to stretch out our energy. That's why how how we gain longevity is that we're born with certain energy that's called the, our original energy, original yuan qi, and then. You know, after we're born, certainly we can take in energy eating our food and drink. However, if you're using more, then we can replenish and um, whatever the money in our bank, like such as yuan qi, it's like money in our bank, will be used up very quickly. Sometimes even if you might not be born with a lot of money in your bank, but if you know how to stretch it out, you can actually have a long and healthy life. So here, Lao is giving us a little, little bit of a hint about what we need to do. Okay, so the next sentence, Lao Tzu said, Ying zhi bu jian qi shou. It means, I'm going to, to face it, I'm going to approach it from the front. However, I cannot see the beginning. Show means the head, the beginning. Next, 随之不见其后 means if I follow it, I cannot find, I cannot see the end. So this it, it has no beginning and no end. 直古之道 以欲今之有. It means using this ancient Tao, using this ancient this ancient way of doing things, it still works for Jin for, for modern days, for present. So whatever this is, it has no beginning, no end, and it has it's ageless. So it's the same in the past, Gu, as in the present, Jin. Neng zhi gu shi, shi wei dao ji. This sentence, Lao Tzu is telling us that so we can know, so if we know it, then we, we know the origin, so Gu origin, and the, the presence. And this is the essence of Tao, so the way of Tao. So Lao Tzu is talking about, Lao Tzu is kind of trying to lead us to slowly figuring out I really love this way. It says, okay, so this thing, this, this, not a thing, this. Okay, let's go from the beginning. You, you cannot see it. You cannot hear it. You cannot touch it. So it's something that's beyond our sense. It's also beyond what our mind can perceive. It's beyond light and darkness. It's continuous, it, but it cannot be named. And it returns to nothingness. It's a shapeless shape. It's an image of nothing. And it's this no distinction state. There's no beginning, no ending. And it's the same in the past as in the present. It's ageless. If you know it, or if you really embody it, then you know the origin, you know the big, you know the now. I think we can add, you know the future. Shi Wei Dao Ji. It's the essence of Tao. Isn't that beautiful? So I really love this chapter, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Okay, so this is chapter 14, and um, thank you for watching. Next week, we'll continue on to chapter 15.
Have a great week, everyone. Take care.